I bought a 180 watt solar panel with an EP Ever uh, MPPT controller. It's named Tracer 3906 BP, which is a Tracer BP series. On their homepage, you can find this charge controller uh, version 195 monitor software that you can use on a Windows PC. So I download this uh, monitor and uh, try to get it configured. First of all, you have to install your USB drivers and then you have to install the software itself. So that was uh, what I uh, went on doing. First of all, you have to ensure that the COM port setting is right. So it has to change the bits per second and also you have to make sure that the RS485 option is ticked. Uh, the rest of the options on this one, uh, on the COM port settings, uh, are kind of default, but you have to ensure that this is right, especially the RS485 uh, option. You have to get that ticked on uh, if you have an RS489 controller option on your MPPT controller. To get the Windows machine to be connected to the MPPT controller, you need a cable like this. So I just searched for it. It was in the manual, very easy. CC USB RS485 150U. This is what the manual states, so I just searched for this cable and I found the cable, plugged it in and thought everything was working, but it was not working. So I spent many hours trying to get confused, trying to fix the COM ports, trying to mess around with the software, and I just could not get it to work. This is how the cable looked in one end, so I thought everything was right because this was exactly how it fitted with my MPPT controller. After communicating with the support team in China, I found that on the cable on the MPPT controller it was written 228WG. And that was kind of interesting, especially because the cable I got provided from eBay was labeled with 4LLT and not 228WG. So I got this one from China. It really shows that if you have an AVG controller and you have a 4LLT cable, then you have to switch ground with the VCC and you have to switch B with A. So it means uh, cutting the cable in two and then uh, start the soldering. And this is how it looks after the soldering. As you can see, the red and the black are switched and also the white and the yellow are switched. Then I plugged in the cable, restarted the software, and everything works nicely. I spent a lot of time figuring out how to solve this, but I hope now that I have at least saved you for some time. Thank you.